Well, a day, a, a new day has arrived. I am much more chilled out than the last part, if you actually have watched that. And part 19 of Gran Turismo 2 is here. Hello again, what Thunder. So, Don't start. I'm going to be doing the... Excuse me. I'm going to be doing... I'm going to be doing the Convertible Car Cup, or Convertible Car World, sorry, and T Tahiti Road is the first track, and I thought I'd just take my PT Spider out because you need to have a 246 horsepower car as max for the first one, and I thought uh, it's, it, it would easily, it would just fit in here because it can't do any more than 249. Real verb. Mm -hmm. So, plus, plus the thing, plus the thing should... I, pro I expect to just easily beat out the field because we got a Lotus, a late, late Lotus 90s, Lotus of Land. We got Miatas. There's a Honda Beat in there for some reason. Because Honda Beat. It will get beat. Sure. Per her. <laughs> PT Spider kind of is OP considering I'm just leaving everyone here. But I'm following by the, the guidelines of the race. You, your car can only have as much as 246 horsepower. I have a car with 246 horsepower. Therefore... That's like abiding the speed... Uh, going by the speed limit. You're only allowed to go upwards of 45 miles per hour. But I'm going 45 miles per hour. Exactly. Speeding ticket. <laughs> Logic. Everyone else is so quiet except for you, Gameless. I don't approve of this. I think Angel died, and I don't know who the other guy that's in her. Crash Tor. Oh. The guy that usually doesn't have a mic. He's he's always kind of interesting. He's kind of always had a mic. He just. I, okay. I don't know. I don't know anymore. Because I've got. There he is. Kind of hoping I could get weirdo in here, but, but he doesn't. He, I think he's not not at his computer at the moment. Hmm. I know he's not asleep because he he'd be all, his all his things would be offline if he was asleep. But at least Sanders asleep. I don't know. He's been pretty consistent with turning it off. And the PT Spider could have been a pretty interesting thing had. Had uh, they actually decided to go and actually, you know, release the damn thing? Because it was, they said it was oh, pretty God. close to being able to be sent out ready. And they didn't release it because because Plymouth was being phased out. Because Chrysler doesn't turn concepts into production models. Because Chrysler needs to. Because Chrysler just didn't. They didn't think it over very well. Well, yeah, it would have been better than no. a PT loser. We, we, we could have had this instead of that ugly abomination. Which is gone anyways. <laughs> True. Yep, so beat out all those people. Kind of kind of almost quite literally the same field as I was watching the demo thing to just to know what kind of cars would show up. Anyways. New car acquired. Hell yes. Although, it's a new car! You expect it. I'm you just gonna. New car. You want a new car? Oh, hey, and that's probably why I didn't buy a Miata. <laughs> it gives you a Miata. It does. It does give you a Miata. There's a Hell. Is it a tune Miata? There is indeed a Hellcat Charger Q. Yes, it is a tune Miata. Oh boy. Oh. The Mazda Speed Miata MX-5 Touring Kit A Spec. It's a bit of a mouthful, but there you go. I don't know, I'm, I'm not going to use it, though. I, considering how well I did with the PT Spider for this race, I'm going to take a chance and use it on Grindelwald. I don't know why, but I was never fun of the Mazda Speed Miatas. Hmm. Probably because yeah. of the headlight covers. Hmm, possibly. Everyone has different pre preferences. Oh, hey, there's an RX-7 Cabriolet in here. I think there's actually made... Actually, maybe two of them? I don't know. Oh, and there's an Alpha Spider. The Toyota MR Spider. It's actually two of the MR Spiders. And then an SLK 230 or something like that. Hmm. Jeez, these, this, by this time the cars would have about like 300, could have as much as 345 horsepower. And I'm still whooping them. I would only have to switch it for the last race because I've seen what they drive for the last race and... That would be the only time it would actually cause any, um, 
competition. Hmm. And buffering. Buffering? Strem buffered. You're getting to be worried now. Just just on my end. Uh, it's I back see. to normal now. Okay. People are know, using my internet, it sucks. All is well done. I don't have much to say. Once you put a, a bunch of parts into this PT Spider, it's quite a good car in the game. Handles quite nicely, and it's got some give and go, get up and go. Mm-hmm. You'd say that about just just about any car. Well, not all. No, you can't say that about every car. Ben's well, motor wagon. You throw a lot of parts into it. It can actually go more than ten miles per hour. I bet it could go about eleven. Well, maybe. maybe. Maybe if you push it, maybe 12. Just maybe. Maybe. Yes, I have maybe. upgraded this car. You could, like, hybrid it and do, like, a million miles an hour. <laughs> That's what I would do. That's called Game Shark. That's called Code Breaker. Hell oh, yeah. Time extension. What's. Oh, wait, no, you're, you're still playing other games, therefore. You're not seeing what I'm doing. No, I'm just watching your Pronto Spider on one side of the screen and driving a tuned Honda around Monaco on the other. You sound really quiet. I'm trying not to be so loud lately, you know what I mean? Well, you're, you, I can understand that, but you don't have to be so quiet either. Would you prefer I was at my normal status? I mean, as long as you're not deafening, deafening everyone here, then I'm, I don't care. Yeah, but here's the thing. I have to... I need to learn to be more conscious of the people around my house, and I very much used to be, and that just kind of stopped lately, so I, I legitimately want to try to improve on that, you know? Well, I guess Fair so. Enough for me. How loud you talked was never really a problem with me. The... No, not with you. I'm talking about the house. Yeah. Like, I have this very loud, echoing type voice that it just, like, it's got a solid boom to it. Boom. Anyways, I won boom. again. Boom! Sorry. Or... Ah, oh, crap, that's a wall! Anyway, that is eight, another eight grand and a new, another new car. Do, 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 do. Just doing this to quickly get through the screen. Oh. Oh. Actually, this look, kind of looks better than the production version. <laughs> Just a little bit. This game feels a little weird to play on a controller. With that yeah, I'm still not going to use it. It's just not not a lot of power. Oh, Anyways, I now now that I can. Oh, another Miata. Oh, that's an MRS. Yeah. I actually almost call it a Miata. Look at that. It looks the it's better than the production car, in my opinion. That's always how it is. Anyways, let's go for... The series has given you a lot of low-powered cars. I'm gonna go for this British Racing Green TVR Chimera 5.0, because this thing's got a decent amount of power in it, and, you know, probably won't do too bad. Yep. And it's a TVR. In, in before it sees ten Cobras. Just ten of them. I'm not worried about the Cobras. The <laughs> uh, ooh. Anyways, tires... Oh, no, 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 I don't need racing tires on here, I just need sports. <laughs> Speed 8 Cerberus. Yeah, somewhat. Although the Chimera came first. Put put a, put the muffler. Jeez, Let's I can't see. even feel the throttle in this game. It's one touch full throttle. Computer. Engine balancing. And lastly, port, let's just go with the port and polish. And 371 horsepower should be good enough to go. I just want to be on the safe side. Anyways, last convertible car world track is Trial Mountain. I haven't seen this track in a while. Yay! It's kind of, just, you know, it's a staple made of the series. It's been in literally every single Gran Turismo. Because it just will not die! It shouldn't need to either. Also, the days when the tr when they didn't have the track layout on of uh, on the screen upside down like they did in starting with GT PSP, I think. Mm -hmm. With this layout, it kind of just looked like a a shirt that was a shirt a, an italicized like shaped shirt. I think Gran 
Turismo 4 had the layout. No. It had the uh, italicized tell, tell shirt layout. Yeah. I like it that way. Oh god, this thing actually doesn't have as strong as handling as I was hoping for. Well, I think the reason that they reversed the layout, so to speak, is to pay to, so the course faces north. Mm, I guess, but I, I I don't know. It just kind of felt weird when they did that. Hmm. Then again, I think actually, uh, Angel, back to what you mentioned in, in, in GT4, it did have the uh, inverse layout, but only when you were selecting it from the uh, track in GT in uh, GT mode or whatever it was. Maybe. Not for any like racing. If you were to do a time trial, it would be the okay. inverse layout. I was expecting this to be like a pretty easy thing, but. The Chimera doesn't actually have that strong of handling like I was expecting. I was expecting it, even with sports tires, it kind of just grip around the track. But no, it kind of doesn't. Hmm. It, it kind of got quite a bit of understeer going on here. Yes, Q Chimera is big understeer. I'm trying very hard to get this around, but it just doesn't have the grip. Just under, just a lot of understeer. It kind of reminds me of the... The uh, speed 12 in Gran Turismo 6, it understeers like hell. But oh, you expect uh, it to go that didn't, relatively that, fast. That kind of didn't work out the way I was hoping. Managed mm. to pass a Viper, though. A Vip Vap? Yep, a, it's a Vip Vap. Vippy Vap. Ugh! This thing can't turn. Hmm. Man, man, man. We'll probably have to redo this race and put like a better, like a racing suspension on it, or something. Yeah, that that, that never killed anything. No. Yet. I'm, I'm trying very hard to get up to the to the uh, Tuscan and the. I'm guessing what's up there in front is the Shelby, Series One. But. Mm. Yep, it is the the series, like one. series One. <laughs> The face one, you had to make the Speed 12 heavier for it to turn better. Because that, that was a thing. But In which game? GT6, I think. Hmm. Oh, really? Ugh. Yeah, I... That's what happened when you give French... What? What the hell, Ludo? What the hell? What is that link? That's what happened when you get Oh wait! Front. Oh! Huh. I'm gonna pull it off! Sodden last corner victory! Ooh. I'm, damn, I managed to just nail that and steal the victory right from the Shelby. So you pulled a Maldonado? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I might actually sell this Chimera off. I'm quite disappointed by it. I was like, on a I six. Thought you, you thought you cut the corner. No. And then I saw the thing. Anyways, oh, I, actually, I'm surprised I didn't even think about this car. Could have used for the first couple races. Oh well. Yeah, Ludo, that car is a bit rip. But yeah, here's a here's a very very good car. A very oh. very good car. A very 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 good. Oh. Car. Yes, the concept car LM edition. What? That's something Rhino mentioned in the GT1 playthrough that he thought was a concept car in GT1. Nice. This is a, That's a, a nice looking car. It's a very, very good car in this game. Hmm. I may actually... Hmm. I'm going to hold on to the Chimera. What I may just do is I'll put like a couple extra parts on it. And, and then actually... No. Before I... I need, I'll need to check this first actually. Hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, I cannot. I can only. I would only be able to use this car for the first for the, for the next two races. I'd have to get a. I might as well just. Yeah, let's just sell it off. Because in the next part, I'm going to do the uh, the Brit the UK Nationals. So I'll. Ooh. Which probably will mean no car, but that's okay. No prize cars. But anyways, stay tuned for that, guys. And as always, thank you for watching and take care. Bye. Bye.